Hello YouTube, it's Mike and Aaron from Team Endgame here, bringing you a deck breakdown, which has been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. Long I time. Really, I don't really know why. It's interesting yeah. to say those words. <laughs> um, of my Dauntless Dote deck. Now, I know it's not the top, top tier, but I think it still has a chance <laughs> here and there. Mm, I don't know. But <laughs> regardless, I think this is the best way I see it being built. Um, I've spent a while on it and I've tried and got all the elements. Again, that best the... build suited to your playstyle. Yeah. Um, so, regardless, without further ado, I'll go through it and at the end, as usual, we'll go through all the, play the different playstyles I prefer. Okay, so I run 7 crit, 5 draw. Random why, number. Why not? <laughs> well, one, it's to put the, still put the opponent off because it's a competitive deck and you don't want to. Sure, but, sure. But mainly because up until Dauntless. You ran more draws. You ran like seven, eight draws. Did Just you? yeah. Well, when well, my original build, I ran seven, didn't I? Seven. It was seven and five. I think. Yeah. So this. No, that's seven and five. Seven and five draw. Oh, but switched. Yeah. Got ya. Why? So. <laughs> um. Because. Well, no, it's, 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 it's eight and five. Look, it's eight and five. But so uh, I ran like seven draws. How can you get eight? Can we just carry on? Just, what just... Is... No, it is seven, isn't it? Seven. God. <laughs> you know what? It's been a long day. <laughs> right, so I did run more draws before, but I lowered it because of the aggression of Dauntless. And that way you apply, you need more crit critical pressure. You, it's more reliant on getting a critical on uh, Overlord's effect of restanding. Now, because it's more Overlord focused and the, the out I'll explain later on is why I run Griffin, so there's nothing going into that now. But as usual, Conro is your best bet for a starter because it's so viable and like, what was it called? Uh, flexible, depending on what's going on. And I run that specific draw trigger because it's in Soul plus 3k, so why not? If you're going to find it with, one, that, with that one there, you're going to find it that early. And people have their starters still out. Well, that's just true as well. I like that. But I know I'm talking about the, start, the Seal Dragon one. Oh, but that's, yeah, that's, that, good. Uh, that's another reason, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> as many Seal Dragon triggers as I can because of the like, the core draw. So, other than that, that's my grade zeros. As for the grade ones, you have as many Seal Dragons again as you can. So, four Perfect Guard, four Cursey, four Flannel to, to wash away all the. Uh... Shut up. <laughs> I love Kersey, Kersey and, is a good card. And, and two hairy, uh, hairy moves. Uh -huh. Hairy moves. Okay, so the four perfect guard, just standard because they're still dragon. I'll use that one. Uh, Kersey is so good at, fire, at helping you get through the deck. Get rid of something. They've got a grade two. What a cost. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fowl just because not many people see this, but in my, in my preference, it helps the grade two rush. The likelihood of me riding a seal dragon is very high, so I can drop it and it becomes a 10k swing because Kagura don't have that. They don't have a, if you have a Kagura Vanguard, swing it to 10 or a, a, Well, nothing has an, they're, all, they're all arch type. No, but there's no Overlord one. There's no Overlord yet. Yet. Grade 1 that swings for 10. So, you have to, you have to use what you can. Or so, to keep yet. up with what other decks do, I run that. Um, if, you're, if you're getting stuck for a certain hand, you search out the Flame of Hope, because why not? It's lovely. Um, or you can uh, just, or, and just as a tech for the deck that you can find later on, draw into it, search it if you've got two dotes in hand, promise, because what's wrong with swing for 21? I wouldn't always say you'd search for normal AMO, so most of the time I would personally probably search for Kersey, because I'd rather it be a then and there ditch and draw rather than me relying on a hit that my opponent might not let me have. Okay. Um, okay, just, just blow over my comment like that. Well, I didn't actually hear it, I just went okay. <laughs> 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 what? Um, what was it? <laughs> what was it? No, say again, go on. I don't. I wouldn't always consider searching for ammo because it's an on-hit ability. Thing. Yeah. Searching for curses and then and there ditch and draw, which can be helpful, especially if you're looking for something. Yeah, that's that's, that's true. If, you, if you're really stuck, then yeah. Um, but if it's just if it's going to hit multiple times, if you just don't mind what it is, it might as well be ammo. As long as you're not getting this cross right deck, you can hit seventeen. Which then leads on to my point of bar. Bar has been taken out of the deck. So, 18 is a lot harder to hit because I don't have Torque Swingers in there, which I get to it a bit. But uh, it's, I have 11Ks though to hit 18, I guess I can just drop them. So, it will struggle against Cross Rise, but what deck doesn't these days that rely on an Archetype? Um, 
And the other thing which I find is a viable Vanguard, but I've yet to see a deck which is viable Vanguard booster. in. Huh? Vanguard booster, not Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard booster, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Ma Mahagara, Mahagara. The uh, Dominic Dragon Mage. When a card's retired, it goes during up the main by, phase. during the main phase. It goes up by five k. So I could I could just search that, and then when I do use a, a corduroy, where is a retiree unit, I can just get five k on my vanguard. So although it might not neg them, at least I'm kind of blasting one to go up by five k. Mm. So that could also be a viable one because fire's fine going eleven anyway. Because then it makes it a bit more harder to guard. Mm, and it makes exactly. The pressure. Exactly. So. Which you tried before, but that was before Dawn's came around, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. And this is not really reliable enough, but yeah, I'm pretty sure at some point I'll go back to it. But it's it's just uh, overlooked Vanguard boost to search for with Conroe. Um, but also I don't use two Conroe anymore, so <laughs> because the, you know the reason I explain later. Um, so yeah, those are my grade ones. For my grade twos, again, focus on as many steel dragons as you can. So four corduroy, four ten k boot. And then three to go boop. If you're focusing on Sea Dragons, why don't you use what other options you have? I have no idea what they are. <laughs> um, I don't think there is another one. I assume there's another one. I right? assume there's another one. There's Taco Swinger. Is that it? I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. I don't think they have another one. Okay, that's fair. I the, 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 uh, don't say that, because no, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, there, are, there, there is no other. No, there isn't. It's just Taco Swinger. So, because I don't run a Sea Dragon deck, I can't run a Taco Swinger, really. Um, but again, you need one. That's for that. So long as I take one at some point, it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's just get focusing on the ten k ten k bees. I find it quite. The thing I like about ten k uh, cards is they are hard to swing over with the nines. Yeah. So my idea is to take a t create a ten k wall where they can't really go niggly nine. It's like no, you can't do that to me. Uh, let's have a quarter over there. Quarter is a nice, obviously the ideal ride. Um, they can get rid of the starter, but that's only if you don't have that in your hand because you want to get pressure straight away. Um, you could do what I used to do and run Bellicosity, which is run Flipper. So you'd use Conroe's effect straight away and then attack and it'll hit and unflip, hopefully. But. Um, but the deck doesn't do anything other than Daunt uh, Daunt Dauntless. So you need some kind of control, some kind of maybe retirements, and you can, you can only afford one counter blast because Conroe's using one. If you're not unflipping it, you need, you need the rest. So that rules out like Berserk Dragon, which is just a standard kind of boss two to retire, so it's blur. So you're focusing on the quarter And history. because I don't use Overlord Archetype, I can't use the Twelve Quiz Swing. I have seen it chucked in for a Dauntless deck, because if you're on, on it, why not? Which is fair enough, I can see why you'd run it. But I'd much prefer just dropping the 10s, and if they, swing, they can't swing 14s over it, or uh, it's a nice little ride, things like that. So it's defensive or offensive with a corduroy. And finally, the grade three lineup: four Overlord, four Dauntless, uh, three Dauntless. You could run four, <laughs> but I took out a grade three for the Guard Griffin. Guard Griffin, the Doombringer Griffin. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I think I just really want to run that card, but I have no deck I can put it in. <laughs> okay, so Doombringer Griffin's pretty much like you've drawn a grade three anyway. You do neg yourself if you want to do that, but you know, I'll explain the combo in a bit. Um, so yeah, if the priority would be to ride Dauntless first, but unfortunately with the lack of draw power, you have to ride Dote if you had the choice, because you don't have the field to drop. So if I had Dauntless and um, Dote in my starting hand, before shuffling back, I would shuffle the Dote back. Um, so yeah, it, at the end of the day, if you try and get Dote's effect off, you're plussing. Otherwise, your game plays to go for the Dauntless and Crypt for Game, or just you know, Crypt for go. trying to find <laughs> Crypt for Game. That's your yeah. new favourite phrase. That is all the decks you run. Crypt, Crypt for Game. game. Crypt for Game. Because a lot of these decks are. Um, again, you just run the normal Overlord, <coughs> but but I change it to a Crossride build. Yeah, and it's Crossride's too slow. It's too slow. You can argue okay, as much as you want, but I'm oh, sorry, unless the only good thing about it is you can chuck it as a rear guard. You don't have the time to not have pressure with a ride break or a stupid vanguard anymore. Normal overlord later on there's a ride break, that's fine, but <laughs> um and then it's just uh blockade, Inferno. My initial thought of that was I had two counter blast anyway from running a lot of seal dragons. I can just ride over dope 
So cap loss two, get 10k, maybe retire one or two cards. Suddenly I get 10k out of nowhere. Do you remember Dote or do you remember Dauntless? So it's 31 well, twice. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's two different decks. So I was, was going to do, oh, okay. do one way and the other. So you could replace Dauntless for it. And just have it as a, I'm going to use two cam bluffs or something anyway. Or you can take, take Dote out for it. And focus on four Dauntless. And four of this. So I ride break seal. Okay. So, so I attack you ride, for 31. Yeah, you attack for 31. We stand. 31 again. And then next turn you count plus two again. So just swing for a high number. <laughs> So unless they have two perfect cards on that Dauntless ride, then it's like, well, that's going to take a lot of cards. So it's just a complicated way of doing bloody... Crypt game. Uh, bloody seven. <laughs> Either the day. You yeah. have to prepare for it there, you have to go count last two, lol. But anyway, moving on. Okay, the advantage of the deck is... You can use Conor to search out anything, so of course... Depend, but the way you do it is depending on what you have in your hand. So I'll go through two, both of them very quickly. Okay, so... You got, if you got Dauntless, then you'd search out for search out for your Doom Bringer Griffin, sit there until you find Dope, search, search, ride, ride, neg two, search the other Dope, um, and then you just swing and go, oh look, lol, I don't, I don't neg myself one. That's but right, just throw Dope, just throw Dope. Oh, that's how much it's worth these days. Um, so you just go, oh look, I get the, I get the uh, break even, because you're supposed to plus one, but because I've written Dope. your attack on the Vanguard is your point. Right? Yeah. Or yeah. Your chance to you, you, neg, you neg yourself one because obviously you're rewriting and negging yourself one yeah. so you search for it. So I'll neg yourself one rather than three. Um, so yeah, it's just it's extra pressure and you just vanguard swing, but you don't have to neg yourself so much when they go no guard. Um, other than that, uh, if you've got dough in your hand, you can search out Aramo. Um, or you can, if you've got two in your hand, you can search out Promise. So it's just aggression. Um, other than that, if you've got Dauntless as well, and you don't mind using Counter Blast, that's of course a nice little ride to retire their starter. Uh, Which is annoying. Um, and as a Grade 2 Rush to help, you use the uh, Flannels. And just you'd have some kind of 10k beat on the other side most of the time. And of course, the Cursey is just lovely for getting rid of you know, Grade 3 or something. Go, oh, I don't want that. Just I'll draw a card. So it's got good, it's got a good uh, consistency. But uh, it's just, unfortunately, consistency aside, it doesn't seem aggressive enough, powerful enough, that you can keep up. Unfortunately, it's not so much uh, unfortunately, it's reliant on con it's run on Conroe. So if that goes, you have no searching capabilities. Your deck's stuck. If you ride, if you ride dope, and you only have two counter blasts, um, you you can't counter blast. You have to have the pressure. Um, with promise, I have no way of soul charging. So. If I drop Promise at the back, oh, it's gone. I have no idea where it's in gone. The damage. Oh, it's in the damage. Okay, if I have that, I only have two in Soul. You know, once, twice, I'm going to have to replace that because I can no longer hit. I know I can swing for rear guard, but that's assuming I have it, which I normally <laughs> so I don't. Um, it's relying on it hitting. It doesn't just swing and, and win. Um, you can Dauntless a Dauntless, but again, that's very risky. And what are you doing until that point? The deck hardly counter blasts. So you can just. Uh, if I didn't have. A quarter in there, then I'd be stuffed. Um, the yeah, it's, it's it's nice to have the Aramo in there, but again, it doesn't hit cross rides. The I've got sevens. Oh, I'm really annoyed with this deck. I swear. Mike, you're really not selling the deck at the moment. <laughs> no, what's, what's, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm saying it's out of date now. I understand that, but so it has it has issues there because you're going to hit seventeen a lot of the time. You have to drop eleven k there, so I'm not going to drop though. I don't know. So at the moment the meta is still most majoritively unless you're going reverse cross right, uh, non cross right. So um, you, it's, it's not too much money. So twenty one's fine. So yeah, it's. Oh, I'd, I'd advise people to use Doom Brio Griffin because it's a nice it's a nice out. The amount of times yeah. I've, the amount of times I've gone Conro, um, I'll search out Doom Bringer, make myself two to get the grade three that I was grade locked on. So it's a lovely little out. At least you can ride, because you have a chance to win this way. I'd like it as an out. I'm still not convinced on the whole, I'm going to get this and free yeah, well, threaten you with... What's well, the whole point that you know... Dope. But even if you have dope, you can you can neg yourself one if you just draw into it. Or you can even just search it as a guard if you fancy a 10k guard in your hand. Which I did with the uh, double uh, Conroyos do before. But if you've got it, you can break even by discarding it, so it forces them to guard it, which they don't really want to, and it's not, and it keeps up pressure. 
but the only other thing to say is you have to trigger in the drive check you get dough off. It's only really going to hit once, or maybe twice if you're lucky. The first time you won't have it. The second time, you have to trigger. And if you don't trigger, and you discard, you, a lot of the time I... That's a, a tournament I went to recently, I, I got the effect off in two games. My first two games, I, I drove check nothing in all four drive checks. You've lost at that point. You're plusing one, that's not going to do much. So, yeah, and that pretty much does it for the advantages and disadvantages. Okay, thank you guys for listening. Hope you enjoyed my deck breakdown of my Dauntless Dote deck. It's uh, It's been going well, I think. I think it's a bit outdated now. But if you're going to run this deck, have a go. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later.